The overlooks are absolutely insane. I hear water. 70 foot waterfall. Such a unique beach in Upper Peninsula of Michigan. <laughs> this place just keeps on giving. What's happening, Wanderers? It's your boy, Wanderlust Woman, back again on the trail, and we are still hiking around Pictured Rocks National Lakeshore, and we are at day two, where we are doing a nice long 10 to 14 mile loop. We'll see how long it is. We have a little detour planned to see some really nice sights along the way. We're starting from Chapel Parking, or campsite, and we're doing a nice uh, loop. We're pumped. Got some nice sights to see along the way, and... <laughs> A nice full long day of exploring. Let's go. I hear water. Ooh, pretty. All right, we've reached the first highlight, the first point of interest of the day, Chapel Falls. And as you can see, it is very loud. I'm standing right at the top of it here. It's a nice little waterfall that looks like a bit of a slide, but don't go down it, otherwise you might not have the best time getting back up. If you can even get back up at all. We're having a great time. It's another waterfall. There's more to come. Let's keep on going. Let's go. So we just came across some uncertain hikers that weren't sure that they were going the right way. They tried to convince us that we were going the wrong way, but we're not losers. We know where we're going. I'm kidding, I'm kidding. I just wanted to let people know that it can be a little bit confusing navigating these trails. So make sure you take a picture or download a picture of a map online because the cell service out here is not very good. It's a really nice scenic walk. Hopefully we get to the next point of interest soon. Stay tuned. Look at that tree just grown that rock. All right, and we are at the next destination along this loop hike with Chapel Rock. And as you can see, it's a magnificent rock formation with a big ass tree growing out of it. Something you don't see every day. You also have some gorgeous turquoise water looking like Caribbean sort of stuff. And not only do you have that, you have some people touring on the kayaks, which is another great way to see the rocks, but you can also see the pictured rocks in the distance along with uh, Chapel Beach right down below. So it's a really great place to take a break, get a beautiful look out of Lake Superior. Honestly, it feels like I'm somewhere tropical with the water right now. Magnificent, honestly. I'm just speechless right now. Speechless. All right, so we're continuing our little trek, a little detour from the Chapel uh, Rock to Spray Falls. This place just keeps on giving. It's the gift that keeps on giving because there are so many little overlooks and lookout points where you can see the gorgeous blue water. And look at this, guys. Viewpoint after viewpoint to that water. In the pictured rocks, like here, where you can see the different layers of rock, the different colors. So beautiful, so mesmerizing. We're gonna keep on going. If we keep on stopping like this, we'll make it there at sunset. Let's go. So guys, the overlooks are absolutely insane. We just came off the trail right there. We have this whole cliff, this whole pictured rock to ourselves op up in the open. And surprisingly, the sandstone that I'm stepping on, it's layered and it's really brittle. So be careful because it's really easy to break off as you can see. Or a week ago or so, uh, there was a part of the rocks that fell into the water, a lot of it. And I think it's exactly where I'm standing. So I probably shouldn't be here for too long. I'll show you on camera so you can get a little look at what I'm talking about. And little did I know on this cliff, there's a little bit of, looks like some foam or some suds in the water, and I started to hear the sound of rushing water. Well, Vanessa did. This is the next destination along the way. A waterfall, 70 foot waterfall, emptying right into Lake Superior. Absolutely unreal, guys. We're gonna hike right above it and try and get a better overlook a little bit further down the trail, but so far I'm blown away. We decided to stop here for a bit to have a nice little lunch break with the use of the majestic spray falls right in the background. Such a great place to just soak in the views that the pictured rocks can provide. 
Undoubtedly, as someone that lived most of my life and grew up in Michigan in the Lower Peninsula, this is some of the best hiking I've ever done. Now it's the best hiking I've ever done in the state. And the water down below is absolutely turquoise. Stunning, stunning. Some gorgeous views, some really nice, peaceful sounds of nature, of animals in the background. No scary ones, only like birds and chipmunks. And the weather is perfect, no bugs. It's nice and cool and sunny with the sun coming through the trees. This is an absolute must do so far, but we're only just begun. We have many more great sights along the way. Let's go. We are at the next spot of the day, Chapel Beach, right by Chapel Rock. And as you can see, it's a really long sandbar, lots of beach space with some gorgeous blue water, Lake Superior in the background, Chapel Rock right next door, and the Crooked Rocks in the background. This one's for you. Come on, B. You can do it. There you go. It's not even bad. Toque la línea, toque la línea. Stay Ángel. No, stand here. It feels good. It's so cold. We have bravely ventured into the freezing waters of Lake Superior, and Vanessa's having the time of her life. She said this is the warmest water she's ever been in. It's so warm. <laughs> I think she's just uh, a little challenged, but. I think she's haunted. <laughs> so it's a great place to have plenty of sand, really soft, beautiful sand to yourself. You can get in the water and cool off and freeze your ass up just a little bit. You just really enjoy such a unique beach in Upper Peninsula, Michigan. If you have time, definitely stay here, but at least stop by and give it a look. On to the next one. Can I stop myself from keep on checking out all these lookouts? There's <laughs> dozens, it feels like. And now we are at probably one of the best overlooks in all of Pictured Rocks as far as seeing as much of Lake Superior as possible. And this is going to be the Grand Portal Point overlook. Now here's a little bit of a pro tip. Hiking can be hard. But this hike, not a lot of elevation, but we're still on our feet for a long period of time. So the move is to get those feet up and get the blood out. Vanessa is perfectly demonstrating our hiking yoga pose. She's a pro. I'm the king of the world. Alright wanderers, it is official. We have ended the hike at Picture Rock. This hike ended up totaling in at about 12.2 miles. We definitely got, I would say our money's worth, but it was free. So how awesome was that? Vanessa, what would you rank the hike out of 10? It was, it was a 10. It was really good. I can give it a 10. I, I honestly can't make any criticism. It was really good. Waterfalls, beaches, cliffs, amazing water. 10 out of 10 hike. Definitely the best I've done in Michigan ever. So that's the video guys. Thanks for tuning in. It's been real.